All right. Unfortunately, Google Drive does not allow you to copy content from a shared drive that you have access to, that somebody shared a Google folder or Google Drive with you. Uh, you cannot just copy that information directly to your Google Drive without downloading it first and then re-uploading it. But I found a way that you actually can. So I'm going to show you. Um, I'm logged into my Google account right now. I'm just going to paste a link to the shared Google Drive content. So this is the shared folder that somebody sent me. It's taking a bit longer, I guess, while I'm recording this video. And it gets me directly into this shared drive folder. So I'm going to so I can see the materials that are here in the shared drive folder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the My Drive folder. Okay, you see I have one folder in there now called My Picks. Okay, so I'm going to click on My Drive just to go to the main folder. I'm going to create another folder either by clicking New or right clicking here and then clicking on New Folder. I'll name it School Stuff since that's what it is. So I create a new folder and now I will go back to my shared that shared uh, folder. So I could just say shared with me. It should be that link should be there now because I already opened it once. And you could see that. It says shared class materials. So I'm going to click on that. You can see it was shared today. And I can go in, now we're in that folder. You could see the navigation window up here, shared with me, and here's the shared materials folder that was shared. Unfortunately, you can't just copy this folder over. Okay, there's no copy. I could download the whole folder and then re-upload it. Or let's just say I just want all these PowerPoint slideshows. I can double click and go into that folder. I can't copy the whole folder. But once I'm in that folder, we can make things quick. And I could click on one. I could click on the first slide. And, and all the way down the bottom, I will click on the last slide. While holding down the shift key, it will highlight all of them. Or I could just drag my mouse while, press, while hitting the left key, the left uh, mouse button. Now, on a Windows computer anyway. Now I'm going to right click. And a menu comes up, and I can still download everything, or I can make a copy. So in this example, I will make a copy. And you see it's copying 10 files. Where is it copying 10 files to? Well, copied into my drive. If you look at it, they just copied directly to the root folder. I don't know if there's a way to copy it directly into another folder. But you see them all here. I have my two folders, and then I have them all here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on the first one, hold down the shift key, and click on the last one. They all highlight. And I can either right click or I could just click and drag while they're highlighted into my school stuff folder. And they will all be moved there. See, 10 have been moved to school stuff. So now if we just move into the school stuff folder, I can see all of these files have, they're now in my Google Drive. You can see this is in my drive. It's not in the shared drive. Okay, so now if I want to add more content here, I could do that. I could go back to that shared folder, shared with me, go back into the shared materials. Unfortunately, you have to do this for each one. I wish that I could just copy it over or drag it. Uh, let's see, can we? Maybe we can. Let's see, I'm going to try to click and drag the docs to email folder to school stuff. See, it just adds a shortcut, unfortunately. So that's still just a shortcut to the shared drive. And then if the person who's sharing the drive with me uh, deletes any of that information, I, I really don't have access to it. So this is just a shortcut here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete that shortcut that I just made. All right. There's no need, there's no need for that. I want because I want this content in my drive. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to um, go back into that school stuff folder. This is the stuff that's actually on my drive, and I'm going to create a new folder within it so I can keep the same structure that the shared drive had. These are my PowerPoint, so I'm going to just name it PowerPoint Slides, and hit Create. It's going to create a new folder within this school stuff folder and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna click on the first file hold down the shift key and click on the last one to highlight them all and I'm just gonna click and drag them all into that folder so I'm just moving everything into a subfolder so now if I go to my shared with me folder go back into my class materials this is the shared drive that I have that somebody shared with me now I'm going so I have everything copied over from chapter quizzes into my I'm sorry from PowerPoint slides into my PowerPoint slides now docs to email so what I could do is I could create another folder here and uh, get that ready but I'm just going to double click in the shared folder docs to email and you see there's a bunch of uh, things in here not a bunch of PDF documents so I'm just going to click the first one Click the last one while holding down the shift key. They all highlight. I'm going to right click on any of them or anywhere in the highlighted area there and make copy. It's copying those nine files now. And you can see it's starting to use up space on my Google Drive. So they're all copied now into my drive folder, my main drive folder. So I'll click to the my drive folder. And you see they're all just loose in here. So I'm I'm gonna do another thing. Just from here, I'm gonna create a new folder. And I'm gonna call it Docs to Email, just like it was named on the other shared drive. So I'm gonna click on the first folder, uh, the first file that I want to move, and the last file while holding down the shift key to highlight them all. I'm going to scroll back up and now I'm going to left click and drag all this stuff into the docs to email folder. It should all move in there. There we go. Now everything's in there. I'm just going to drag this folder into the school stuff folder. And boom. You see everything school stuff, docs to email, PowerPoint slides they're all in there and you can see it's using up more more and more storage as I add more information so let's go back to that shared with me drive somebody shared career path Academy graciously shared with me and let's see what else do we have we have uh, chapter quizzes that they shared with me so I'm gonna double click that to go inside because unfortunately we can't just copy the whole folder over I wish we could, because look, um, I, well, I already showed you, you can't, you got the copy thing. So I just keep re repeating these steps. So click on the first one, click on the last one, while holding down the shift key. Everything highlights in blue. I right click on any of them, hit make a copy, copying 22 files. takes a second they're copying it from their shared drive directly into my Google Drive without me ever downloading them to my computer now keep an eye on here we've got 236 now so it's it's taking more and more space you can see that so now all these full all these should be right in my main root folder of my drive so I click on my drive it's called chapter quizzes and in my drive, I should have all those, see this, all these chapter quizzes copied over into my drive folder. This is not in the this is not in the shared drive folder, this is in my drive folder. So now I'm going to make a new folder. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it chapter quizzes. Create. Click on the first one, 
that I want to move there. Go to scroll down to the last one, hold down the shift key, press the last one. Now if there's an individual file that I did not want to copy over, let me show you once, once everything's highlighted here. Okay, everything's highlighted. I can hold down the control key on my Windows computer and I can selectively click on different files to unselect them or to reselect them while holding down the control key. So you, this way you could scroll down and pick and choose which files you want to include. So I've got a scrolling mouse, so this is how I am sc scrolling up and down. I'm going to left click now and move all that stuff into the chapter quizzes folder. Once it's in the chapter quizzes folder, I'm going to put that chapter quiz folder into the school stuff folder. So I keep all my things organized in one file folder like this. Okay, so all that stuff is moving over right now. Now I move that chapter quiz folder into my school stuff folder. And you see there, it's all, at, it's all there. And that's how you copy uh, copied shared files from a shared Google Drive directly to your Google Drive without having to download them directly to your computer. Unfortunately, you can't just copy the entire folder. You have to do it in these steps like that, but it's still a lot faster than downloading it all those files and then re-uploading them to Google because some of these files can be large in size. Alright, and that's it for this. That concludes this tutorial.